Oh. Oh. This is day one of my challenge, dropping from 170 to 135. And I'm going to work out for at least two hours, hour and a half, two hours. I'm going to come back. I should be at a different weight. All right, two hours later on, the same day, I'm at 164.4. So I lost a good amount of weight. All right, so I got like nine more pounds to go. I'm going to be hydrating back up with some fruits, strawberries, star fruit, apples, some avocado. And I'm going to be using hemp powder mixed in with a little bit of water, right? Um, remember, this is a, a art by itself, cutting weight, right? There is a technique to it. It's not just something you can just go and just do. You know, that's why it's a challenge, right? Not everybody, not anybody can do this because remember that the biggest cravings that other people have is food addiction. Food is like a drugs, right? Next cravings is alcohol, cigarette smoking, prescription drugs, <laughs> and um, sex, right? Those are the biggest cravings. So if you're able to challenge yourself and control those cravings, then you will tap into your mental state, which will go into your physical. And this is, you could say it's kind of like a fast detoxing in a sense, you know, and when you do these kind of things, you try to shed weight, you also can help yourself out depending if you're um, so-called ill with a disease like diabetes, high blood pressure, from detoxing the body, getting rid of some of the um, you know, unnecessary waste, fat in your body, you can reset your body back to where those so-called illnesses won't exist anymore. So that's why detoxing, fasting is a, it's a great thing, man. And if you understand it, you know, you will know what I'm talking about. And it's a difficult challenge for a lot of people because a lot of people have a hard time letting go of their cravings, right? Especially losing weight. I mean, that's the hardest thing because food is an addiction, right? The biggest addiction. You know, addicted to steaks, chicken, pizza, name it, chips, name it, alcohol, sodas. So <clears throat> if you are able to get away from all that, like I said, you know, and detox the body, try to lose some weight naturally, put but natural foods into your body, you will feel a lot different. And I said, if you have any illnesses, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, all that will flush out your system, flush out through your pores, you will pee it out, you will poop it out, you know. So this is a thing where a lot of people is not going to understand. And... <laughs> When you do it or try it, you will see what I'm talking about. You know, if you never try something before, you never experienced it before, how are you going to know what it feels like, right? A lot of illnesses in your body, sicknesses, is from one thing, mucus, right? When the mucus builds up in your body, that's where you catch a cold, right? It breaks down your immune system. When you catch a cold, you blow your nose, mucus come out. That's from all the mucus build up, headaches, cancer, diabetes, it's just all mucus build up. It basically covers over your cells. Your cell then can't get to breathe. So your body breaks down, shut down your immune system. So if you detox now, put fresh water in your body, filter alkaline water, fresh organic fruits, in your body, exercise, run, jog, ride, bicycle, jump rope, whatever you can do to break a sweat, get a sweat going. When you come back in, you're hydrating some fruits, some vegetables, kale, spinach, you know, you will start breaking down that mucus, which will kill off all the diseases, <laughs> all the mucus will dry up, so there's nothing to cause any sicknesses anymore if there's no mucus in your body. Taking a lot of alkaline foods, pears, strawberries, blueberries, living foods for a living body, electric food for electrical body. Put that into your body. Then none of the mucus, no diseases cannot survive in an alkaline body. So, you know, you will start feeling better. Whatever problems you had won't exist anymore. So this is day one of my challenge, dropping from 170 to 125. 
Um, I'm already at 164, so in a couple of hours I already dropped to 164. So I just need nine more pounds to go. Also, forget to mention my height. I'm at 6'1". Um,